Before we start this video, I want to give a shout out to Diversity and Dragons. They're a fantastic channel and do check out their stuff. Uh, he is so willing to, and I'll link it down below, he is so willing to just say what everyone's thinking and criticize corporations that don't care about you. It's refreshing and sort of the monetization of products and so on. And he inspired this video because he does great videos on tabletop gaming and I felt like I needed to chime in and just roll with it and go from there. At this point, we are fully and 100% aware that Wizards and Hasbro want to monetize the hell out of D&D. And tabletop gaming, full stop. These companies have always kind of been financial outliers. And for Wizards, specifically, their cash cow is Magic the Gathering. And that's a whole other video. I want to tell you how to play any tabletop game, D&D... World of Darkness, Pathfinder, um, you name it, for free. Completely and utterly for free. So let's talk about it. First things first, what do you need? A rule set. Rule sets, especially for D&D, are free and so many games are based around them that you can find these online on their official sites, completely free, completely accessible and ready to download. You can view a PDF on your phone, you can print off the information and so on. Character sheets. You can get those across the internet. People make them. Fans make them. Templates are available. Uh, just Google character sheets, templates in the game and you'll find tons. But you can also just write down the basic information. Again, you don't need much. You need a piece of paper and a sharpie or a pencil. And that's kind of it. Dice. Now, dice are an interesting one. You can get a free app on your phone, iOS or Android. There are a lot of them, like an amazing amount of free dice apps. Or if you're going to a shop, uh, most shops that are hosting games will have dice readily available for you to use. I'm a bit of a dice gobbling, and most people are, actually. So that there will always be someone there that will have some spare dice. They're there, but you can use an app. Or you can print them off the internet fold them and stick them together. Just score along, you print them off on some cardstock or watercolour paper, by the way, is amazing for printing um, art or anything, actually, because it's got a nice texture and it's thick. But just fold, score along those lines, fold them and a little bit of tape later, you have dice. If you've got a print stick, even better. You know, just try and keep the taping to a minimal. You don't want them sticking to anything. Miniatures. For any game, there are countless free miniatures online you can google them you can find them just change your image search settings to free to use or usage rights if you're worried and you can just print them off and stick them to something fold the, basically you print them off cut them out put some tape on them and print them stick them to buttons coins um i made some for my god some recently where i used some 50 pence little wooden discs that i found in Poundland in a sale in their craft section. So that's all there. And if you want something a little more robust, Poundland, Dollar Tree, uh, little toys, little miniature toys can be repurposed very easily. And if you're nervous about painting them, you can literally just spray them a grey colour, spray paint if you do want to pay that. Or even just mix some acrylic with some glue if you're really just, you've got it there. But these are not essential to play the game. Rule sheets, dice, and character creation. That's all you really need. And again, that's all there. There is free tabletop gaming. As much as I don't like the guy that created it, um, I think he's perfectly fine, but his freak out was a little bit strange over Clownfish. Uh, basic fantasy RPG is really good if you just want basic D&D. &D. And you can build, use those rule sets and build your own games. That's also a thing. If you find a basic rule set, you can build your own world and game. You can have a modern zombie survival, i.e. The Walking Dead type thing if you want. Or you can have vampires or demons or werewolves and all of this stuff. Or you can just, you know, meet at a tavern, save a town from a dragon. You know, it's not that difficult to do this stuff you can build your own stuff if you want to invest some money and i mean pennies we're not talking a lot of money a few dollars here and there ebay emu wish amazon are all accessible and easy and actually you can go to most stores and buy basic dice 
super cheap. I've I've seen basic just plain coloured dice for like two pounds in the UK and I've seen them for a couple of dollars in the US too. So it's not it's not expensive if you do want to invest at that little bit of extra cash. And as much as I dislike Amazon, uh their sales are fantastic. <laughs> Let's be real. You know, modern life is a thing and when you are trying to get stuff it's it's sometimes a good sale is useful also check out clearance places and occasionally you see dice in dollar tree and poundland and all of these places as well so that's all there now if you want some nice fancy maps you can draw your own piece of paper a sharpie it doesn't need to be detailed it could be just a few lines on a piece of paper and a few words just pointing saying what's there let's be real <clears throat> that's how i started playing uh you can go on many websites including stock photo sites such as pixel bay and find free to print off maps and they are good and characters you know they're just free stock photos all you do is set up account there's no money you don't pay to use the site i get a lot of my images my thumbnails on there and it's quite useful to say the least on the subject so free images and if you don't want to print them off you can actually put them on if you're playing at home just put them on your most people have a tablet or phone just something to reference what you're doing and where you are it doesn't have to be a big thing you don't need a table with terrain and landscapes and hundreds of miniatures you can just do your own thing and have fun and that's ultimately the thing with these games like world of darkness vampire the masquerade is one of my favorite tabletop games or well, the classic one not the newest one and you can play that for free intentionally and legally and officially. You don't need to buy the big £50 book. Because I will say this, most of these books are horribly overpriced. Like £50 for a 34-page hardback book is just too much money. Like if I'm going to spend £50 on a book, I want something a little bit more substantial. And the rule sets are there, and even they say themselves, the World of Darkness Company, you can just get the stuff from there and it's all in front of you and all ready to go it's not you know it's all there you can play for free the idea that you have to invest a lot of money or any money at all into these things is mind-blowing to me because maybe it's just because i come from a different age i was a kid in the 90s i feel like the monetization of this especially with younger people who are used to microtransactions and this sort of app that wizards are doing where it's all going to be you know you can buy stuff I find that worrying because we don't really own digital content. We pay for the rights to use it. Books are the same, ebooks are the same. If you buy from Kindle or Kobo or iBooks, you're actually paying for the rights to view it and it's not really your book, so to speak. They're my books, but the um, ebooks that I have aren't really mine. So it, it, it's this whole thing of like, monetization of a product to the point that it actually puts people off playing and i think magic the gathering is the same right now it's, it's becoming ridiculously expensive when most of the care even the company are admitting is about the aftermarket which i think is just sad really because a lot of youtube channels don't actually talk about the game they just talk about how much a card is worth and i don't want to see dungeons and dragons and all of these games go in that same direction because i think it, it's coffin nails for a lot of people. You know, the kid who gets a few dollars pocket money every week or has to wait till birthdays or Christmas or people that are struggling right now. You can play tabletop gaming free, legally, and it's at your fingertips. There's no there's no barrier to it. And the sort of the idea of this kind of monetization of product is reasonably new. And if you come from my generation or the generations before you could easily do it or one person has a book one person had the book and then you would all share the book that's something me and my friends used to do but like i said you can get free stuff online that's completely legal you can make your own stuff up you can get rule sheets for official games free and legally and you can just build your own stuff you the you don't need the adventure in the book to play the game and that's a concept I think a lot of people don't really understand anymore. Yeah, the books might have some nice adventures and some nice things in them, but it's not going to be, uh, you can just find your own or make your own. 
and find ones online to use that fans have made. Like, the fan-generated content for these games is amazing and wide and huge and you can have some fun with it. And you can get really basic intro adventures that have been made by people completely free. They're all there. You just have to look for them. So there shouldn't be a barrier to entering and wanting to play these games. There shouldn't be anything like that. It should be, here's a rule set, here's a rough idea of a story or a setting, let's play this, let's get into it. You might have to print some stuff off or drop a few dollars on a random product, like dice, like I said. But again, print them off, apps and so on. There, There is such a wide berth of amazing fan-made content that is at your fingertips and people don't see it and it's a real shame. And I think, especially with the people that are coming in, new players, they just want the adventure in a book and they play that. But you can, again, you can get adventures like that that are fan-made, completely free. And a lot of classic D&D stuff now, like classic old adventures, are just there to download legally and free. So you're not breaking any copyright laws, you're, nothing, you're not doing anything illegal. It's all just at your fingertips and you have to look for it. It can be a little bit buried sometimes, I will say that, like, Google does, Google is the worst search engine if you're looking for this kind of content, but it is there. As always, tell me what you think in the comments below, I'm really curious on this, and I will talk to you guys later.